Rockwood 2902 WS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, this is a new rear kitchen floor plan with a front bedroom wardrobe slide. Gives you that uh, excellent storage for extended stays and longer term use, but it's still only 6,480 pounds. Legitimately half ton towable. Now, what's cool about this is this is lighter than a lot of rear kitchen lightweights, and it has a bedroom closet slide out that the others typically do not. So it doesn't weigh any more, you're just getting more for it. That's a pretty common trend with Rockwood. Um, overall, Rockwood is the number one selling series of lightweights on the market, period. Um, there's other great brands of trailers, don't get me wrong. But the uh, the idea, like who is Rockwood for? Why buy Rockwood versus Brand X? Long story short, if you're looking for the very last trailer you want to own, but you don't want a big three quarter ton truck, that's who this is for. It's the retirement lightweight. It's not the working man's lightweight. Working man's lightweight might be built very well, but it's not going to have the equipment and the amenities of a Rockwood. Um, I'm going to try to explain that and demonstrate that as we go through here. If at any point you're curious to see how much one of these costs, right down here in the video description, if you're just on YouTube, it's going to say click for price and availability. That'll take you to our list, Rear Kitchen Campers, show you what we have in stock and how much it is with its equipment, because the equipment package on this trailer could be different from we, what we have in stock, so the pricing can vary. But we publish all that for you. You want length, you want weight, you want all that, we got all of it. Um, we also do hitching pieces, parts, financing, trades. We do trucks, we do package deals, we can deliver this, we do everything. I don't care where you live, we can put this right in your front door. And we do all the time, so it really distance is not a problem. Um, this is an Emerald Edition, which is a big upgrade bundle put on these Rockwoods. It's part of what's giving us the full, well it is the thing that's giving us the full skin color package here, as opposed to just a stark white. You see this nice, they call it oyster, I call it uh, vanilla cream skin. I like my word better because it goes with the milk chocolate nose cap and the uh, you know the the chocolate fudge accents, but I like ice cream, so <laughs> who doesn't? Um, power awning, power tongue jack, and not just a power awning and tongue jack, but a higher grade appliance power awning tongue jack. Things like that make a difference. Very few brands are still giving us a nice front nose cap here with a uh, window. Very few brands give us any front window at all. But again, Rockwood's not just any brand. They do everything, uh, you know, a step above and beyond almost everybody. This is fully six-sided vacuum laminated and aluminum framed. We're gonna see the nicer slam latches and the baggage doors here. So this is a true one-hand baggage door that, um, <laughs> figures, figures, this is the time it decides to bounce on me. Oh well, as you can see, I don't rehearse video and I don't, uh, you know, edit footage. I just keep rolling because the, the point stays the same. Enclosed underbelly there for good extended season camping. Also, that will help your towing because now it's gonna be smooth on the bottom and slipstream better. I mentioned six-sided vacuum laminated. Now we also have vacuum laminated slide out side walls. Um, and we have ventilating windows here. All the windows open for some form of ventilation with the exception of the window in the entry door. Um, I like to point that stuff out. If a trailer does not have laminated side walls, laminated roof, floor, rear wall, whatever, does that mean it's a bad trailer, it's poorly built? No, not at all. Not even close actually, there's some really good examples. but. It could be, and there's plenty of examples of that too. And that's the hard part, is that you can't see the difference, but you can feel the difference. I know that's built right. You can thump on it, it's, it thumps back. If something's not laminated, mm, I don't know, 50-50, it just depends. But do you necessarily trust the word of a salesman with a lot of money? That's really the question here, isn't it? Um, you know, why are, we, uh, why are we doing this? Why are we going through this adventure together right now? Because you're trying to learn more from home without meeting a salesperson. So you're talking to a computer jockey, you know, well, I guess listening as it were, but um, you know, you're trying to get the best information you can before making an investment. If we're gonna, you know, keep in mind, if we're willing to give you this kind of insider's info before you even give us a call, imagine what you'll do once we have met you. Now you saw that outside storage compartment right on the slide out, that actually goes under the uh, dinette. But did you also notice that it has full aluminum skeleton work under that dinette? Under the bed, under everything, it's fully aluminum skeleton. Now this is cool. This is uh, a little bonus outside storage compartment right here. And it actually is like right under the kitchen sink. That's the bottom of a solid surface countertop that we're looking at right there. And that's the actual sink basin itself. So this is just a bonus storage space. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, you know, you could 
you could do a lot of different things here. This is, it's almost the size of a mini fridge, but you could even put a little outside trash can out here. And again, we've got those, there we go. See, that's what it's supposed to, easy one hand latches. Now the roof is a full walk on, zero flex laminated roof, all aluminum framed and whatnot. Um, where you have power vent fans in a Rockwood. First of all, it's the bigger Max Air fan, not the smaller little plastic fan. But secondly, you actually get the Max Air roof vent cover built on it from the factory level. Uh, we've got a nice size power awning here with LED patio lights at the base, so you can use the lights even when the awning's not out. You can push one button, run your awning in or out, and you don't even have to put on pants. If you wake up at night and it's windy and you hear your awning banging around, you don't even have to get dressed. You can roll up your awning and go back to bed. Um, your suspension system is very different on a Rockwood. It is an independent, not just torsion axle, but suspension. Each wheel moves independently. They're not chucked back and forth together. That means we have a smoother towing experience down the road. It's not inclined to kick back and forth really hard with the trailer just kind of waves down the road. That means a smoother, uh, you know, you're not as much wear and tear on your vehicle. Certainly less wear and tear on your trailer. That means less twisting and less stress of all those joints. Most window leaks are because your suspension bottomed out and the whole wall went, Ugh! you know, it's like that. Um, Yes. Uh. <laughs> now uh, we've. Uh, it looks like we've included a, a full outdoor, um, like uh, what do I want to say, grilling station here. So you know, there's an RVQ grill that comes here. It comes in a box. It hasn't been assembled yet. Otherwise, I'd, I'd, I would have it here instead of pointing at negative space. But it mounts on this rail. But Rockwood again goes a step further with this little outside utility table. But the difference once again, kicking it up a notch. You'll notice that th this is not wood. This is all resin. There's nothing here to rot, mold, or mildew. Leave this thing outside. Who cares if it gets wet? Now your interior TV on its swing arm dismounts and remounts outside if you want to. Little hookups over there for it. So you have an outside tailgate station from heaven right under your patio awning. You can enjoy, if you like games or uh, the big races coming on, fire it up outside. Ha, you know, set yourself the, the little Coleman cooler, the green cooler that we all have over here, and just knock it out, man. Have a great time. We have great pass-through storage going on here. Once again, aluminum skeleton work everywhere. And look how big this is. Not only is this a wider baggage door, but it actually gets even bigger once you get inside. This is like the same almost cubic foot storage of like a three-quarter ton pickup truck. It's, it's huge. A uh, little solar prep. Now, that doesn't run refrigerators and ACs, by the way. There's different, not all solar is created equal. No standard towable uh, solar system is going to run like a refrigerator and air conditioner. That is just there to um, keep the lights and fans topped off. They've recently transitioned over to a medium friction hinge door so that it, uh, you notice that it just kind of holds itself. You know, the wind can't slam it shut. It catches itself. Also, a wider 30-inch entry door versus an industry standard 26 in English. That just means that it's easier, especially once you've done that outside cooking and you got the platter full of food, you can carry it and walk through the door instead of having to do the sideways travel trailer shuffle. Now, right when you walk in, we've got one switch, boom, for all the interior lighting. Just like, you know, Madden there. Boom! to Nacton. <laughs> Um, so the, like I said, the video here could look very different from the one we have in stock, hypothetically, even if the equipment's the same. Here's what I mean. We've optioned this up with a wood print floor. There's a stone print option. This is the Jasper decor, which is the, uh, at the time of this filming, darker leatherette. Keep in mind, sometimes decors change. I do like that high def little fabric print accent they have there and the maple lighter wood tones. We really like the light dark contrast combinations in these Rockwoods. It makes them feel big, open, uh, makes them feel very comfortable. Um, so again, remember, the other one we have in stock, because we usually have more than one of anything Rockwood, it could be very different looking, even with the same equipment. Could be different equipment, don't know. But we leave you the link to check things like the pricing uh, for each individual trailer, so you can do that at your discretion. Now, other things that make this feel bigger are the fact that there's more lights per square foot than anything else in this class. Lights and windows are the two most expensive um, things on an RV build sheet. Amazingly, it's true. They spend more money on lights and windows than anything else in, in each individual coach. Now, um, that means that it's brighter, it's lighter, it feels more open in here, and then they accent that further with a radius interior ceiling. This is a barreled interior and exterior ceiling. 
Uh, while we're looking up here, I want to point out the fact that our AC is actually double ducted. You have two AC runs in here to give you better airflow. Also, uh, recently at the time of this filming anyway, they've upgraded the new WineGuard antenna system here. Um, you don't have to crank it up and down and it's uh, superior range. So not only is it better, it's also even better. <laughs> Trifold memory foam hide to bed sleeper sofa upgrade right here so that if you do have say grandkids or something stay over or just adult guests this pulls out into like almost uh, somewhere between a full and a queen bed so it can sleep two adults comfortably. Um, the dinette here we saw the underbelly of it with that uh, which actually runs under that bench the full aluminum framework. Now this side over here they have an easy access little drawer area so that you can get to a lot of your storage. Um, your uh, cushions in a rockwood are a little thicker than industry standard. Your table, if you notice, is freestanding on elliptical legs. So if you want to pull that over like an island in the kitchen, you can. If you want to pull that in front of the coffee table and fold it down like a, or in front of the sofa and use it as a coffee table, you can. Um, huge pantry over here, and I love that. I love the retro style handles, and if you've got arthritic hands, it doesn't come any easier than this. Literally, one finger opens and shuts the fridge. Hardwood cabinet doors all the way through the entire coach, so this thing is made to take pounding everywhere. Um, the cabinetry is screwed together, not stapled. It's going to last longer. Our countertops in the emerald package are upgraded to a uh, solid surface, and notice that when you add the countertop extension, it matches that material, but look how big that thing is. That's huge. Um, they've recessed the sink and they gave it a fitted sink cover that can't bounce out so you can actually use that as counter space and they recessed the stove to do the same thing. Now this little lounge right here is classic forest river. This just screams forest river. Um, instead of doing a pair of recliners that frankly are really awkward in this floor plan, they did this really comfy, cool lounge. There is storage under each individual section of that. And if you want to kick those pillows off, you can sleep another person right there without having to open a hide -a bed Also, we have outfitted this with two section day and night shades. So you do have two section shades in here. Um, oh, cross breeze windows, always important. Talked about the hide bed one of my, oh, TV. We talked about how the TV goes inside or outside. It's because it's right on this nice little swing arm here. So you can turn this thing to face the lounge. You can turn this thing to face the uh, dinette area over here. You can turn it to face the sofa. There's no bad seat in the house and the whole swing arm dismounts easily. It, it's, just, it's just better. This does everything. It's Bluetooth, it's DVD, does everything you need it to do. You don't have to bring along extra stuff. Um, bathroom here. It's a dual entry bathroom. You can do it from the hallway where I'm at or the bedroom that we're looking at. That would be your bedroom slide through with a sliding privacy door. Remember, bigger fan, not smaller. This closet right here is part of the slide out. The storage in this slide actually goes all the way up into the bedroom. So your linen space in the bathroom is thanks to the slide out. If it wasn't for that, you wouldn't have good linen space in here. Fifth wheel style radius shower. And again, Rockwood takes it up a notch with a nice little shower caddy to give you a place to put your um, you know, shampoos and stuff. Uh, also, lots of leg room in here. You can actually get dressed in this bathroom when you get out of the shower. If you've never owned an RV, you take that for granted. You can't really get dressed in every RV bathroom. There's not always the space. And a big sink and adult can actually get their hands in. I've got carpal tunnel. That's the way that you combat that, in case you're curious. Um, moving forward. Uh, front uh, bedroom here, walk around, true queen bed, 80 inch Serta mattress, true queen bed with awesome underbed storage. Uh, and you can see again, aluminum framework everywhere. Um, bedside stands uh, with your charging plugs there for either phones or tablets or CPAPs or whatever. Uh, we have a single hanging closet here and they uh, left this open to make it feel a little bigger, but again, you've got all this storage going on. And how big is that so a slide out? That's the box that your girl comes in and it easily hides away inside of there. Now, if you are curious, you can put a TV against the wall here if you're so inclined, but I love all the extra shelf space. It's not all just wide open. They give you good hanging space and good shelf space for like extra beach towels or toilet paper, anything, doesn't matter. And uh, I think that pretty much covers this one. There, there's some things I haven't gotten into here, but the information everyone look for uh, looks for can vary. So don't hesitate to give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hey, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.